In my judgment, President Bush is right to be concerned about Saddam Hussein's relentless pursuit of weapons of mass destruction. Joe Biden did so much more than vote for the war. He was the chair of the powerful Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, and he really used his control over that committee to make sure that a majority of the U.S. Senate voted to authorize the war. The threat need not be imminent for us to take action. That's authority we're about to delegate to the president. So the fact that he would take such a stridently pro-war position, that he would use that role uh, to uh, limit the debate the way he did, played a major factor in getting the enough defections from the uh, Democratic majority to join with almost unanimous Republican support to make the war resolution pass. It was a right vote then, and to be a correct vote today. So what happened? We invaded, turned loose, hundreds if not thousands of people scouring Iraq for these weapons of mass destruction. Never found one of them. The American people were deceived into this war. You know, as an officer, I was responsible for my Marines and for my sailors. I had their lives and I was responsible to their families for that. You think, can I go home and say to the families that it was worth it, that their son was killed, their husband was killed, their brother was killed for something that was good or something that was beneficial? If we can make the case that the threat is real and dire, that a free and democratic Iraq, if it could be accomplished, could have a cleansing impact on that part of the world and make our life easier significantly down the road, which I think could be made in an ideal circumstance, um, that it is worth the price.